Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a dual monitor setup uh, with a GTX 1660. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So the problem you'll face with this type of graphic card, I'm guessing you already know the problem, hence why you're watching this video, um, is your, you only have one HDMI port, uh, which will obviously go straight to your main monitor, which you use for the PC, like your gaming and stuff. Um, the other three ports are a, it's a display port. Um, so this is why I'm making this video, so that you guys can avoid spending loads of money on something that you don't need to buy. So this is a really cheap fix on how to get dual monitor set up with just a simple little trick. So you're all wondering, what is this little device gadget thing that you're on about which will make me have two display monitors? So you're saving yourself a tenner, which some people would be like, well, it's only a tenner, I'll just pay the 14 pound. I mean, yeah, go for it, but I'm making this video for budget. So yeah, this is what you guys need. So looking at my setup, that's my main screen, obviously keyboard, mouse, computer. This is the second monitor, which I want for like my stream screen, if you like, so I can watch my stream and edit my stream on that screen and actually play on that one. So once you've set your HDMI port into place in your second screen, you want to sort out your cable management, which I've not done at all, as you can see. It looks worse because there's LEDs. Um, yeah, put your cable in place, uh, cable management all the way to the PC and we'll go the other side of the setup to show you what to do next. So as you can see, that's the HDMI port, uh, the intake version where the HDMI goes into, and then this side of the display port, and then you can see the difference. It's like almost like half a HDMI lead, half a USB, because uh, it's got a bit of a slope on the one side there where it focuses, on the focus. Anyway, yeah. So you just plug that straight into the PC and then plug your HDMI into the other end. So looking at the back of the PC, I'm sorry this angle is terrible, but if I move the PC anymore, one of the wires will stretch. Um, as you can see that black cable there, that's the HDMI port. And then these little little black tabs here, there's three of them, there's two there and there's one on the other side of the HDMI port. They are the display cables. Um, so all we've got to do is install this little trick which will help you get your second monitor up and running. So the only problem with running this sort of cable, especially if your PC is like mine and it's right next to a wall, uh, is that the cable does hang out of the PC by almost two USB widths. Uh, so it could potentially bend the cable, but I will make it so that my PC is not hanging off the end of the table uh, But it's away from the wall a bit so the cable doesn't be damaged or bent or anything like that So as you can see I've plugged it in I've turned the other monitor on and I've got the same screen on both TVs The only difference is I haven't got the Shortcuts come up on here yet because I haven't sorted out the zoom size and stuff on this screen So it's mega zoomed in on this one uh, but yeah, I'm just going to show you once I've set it up. So after messing around in the settings for quite a while, as you can see, and I minimise that, I've sorted it so that it is the right size for the TV. The monitor is obviously stayed the same. Um, and just to prove to you that it's worked, I will drag this screen over to this screen, and boom! It's as easy as that, guys. So if you did find this video useful or helpful in any single way, shape or form, smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, leave a comment on what videos I should do next, as you can see I'm running just a little bit dry on video idea. So yeah guys, I hope you had a good Christmas and New Year, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.